Weather in general, wind in particular, has a significant impact on the aircraft operations. Before we understand the impact of the wind on an aircraft that is taking off, we should understand the three wind conditions. If the direction of the aircraft movement and the direction of the wind are opposite to each other the condition is known as headwind because the wind is coming onto the head of the aircraft. If the direction of the aircraft movement and the direction of wind both are same, then the condition is known as tailwind. If the wind direction is perpendicular to the direction of the aircraft movement, then the condition is known as crosswind. Wind in any other direction is interpolated based on these three conditions. Now let's try to understand the impact of the wind on an aircraft that is taking off. An aircraft will always take off into the wind. In other words, while taking off, it is always preferred to have headwind since the headwind helps in generating the lift quickly. Let's see how. If you want to understand more about the lift, please watch the video titled Forces Acting on an Aircraft in Flight in the same channel. Every aircraft has to reach a particular indicated airspeed on the runway before taking off. Indicated airspeed is the ground speed of the aircraft plus or minus the wind speed. If the condition is headwind, then the wind is added to the ground speed to get the indicated airspeed. If the condition is tailwind, then wind is subtracted from the ground speed to get the indicated airspeed. The Boeing 737 has to attain nearly 250 km per hour indicated airspeed before lifting off. Now if there is no wind, then aircraft has no assistance from the wind. So, the aircraft has to reach 250 km per hour ground speed before lifting off. Now let's consider a case of 20 km per hour headwind. Now the aircraft has an assistance from the wind for generating the lift. So effectively aircraft has to reach approximately 230 km per hour ground speed before lifting off. Hence, if there is headwind, then the aircraft needs shorter runway length for takeoff. Similarly, now let's consider a case of 20 km per hour tailwind. This delays the aircraft in generating the required lift for taking off. So effectively aircraft has to reach approximately 270 km per hour ground speed before lifting off. Hence, if there is tailwind, then the aircraft needs longer length of runway for takeoff.